Hey, this is Scott at Fire Breathing Christian, and in case you haven't heard, Marvel Comics, as we ramp up to the Captain Marvel movie, which is supposed to be, you know, the thing. She's going to be the new centerpiece of the Marvel Universe. She's the, the biggest, baddest, most powerful Avenger. As we head up to the March release of the movie, uh, we're, we've seen in the years now leading up to that point, we've seen Marvel launch, relaunch, re-relaunch, and now re-re-re-launch this Captain Marvel character hoping that one time or another, or second, third, fourth, fifth time might be the charm in getting Captain Marvel to soar to the heights, or at least to the the mediocrity, <laughs> some kind of above bottom rung status that they believe she she deserves and, and has to have in order to make their whole narrative make sense, their whole business plan now. So the latest breaking news on this subject, uh, this published yesterday at Bounding Into Comics, and I'll put a link to the article in the body of the uh, of the video here, video comments. And uh, Marvel Comics reboots Captain Marvel in brand new number one. So here's the new number one cover. And this, what's interesting about this is that I just bought the last Captain Marvel number one is one of the first comics I've bought in a very, very long time. I'll tell that story a little in the future. And I just got these, these first three issues of what I thought was this new reboot Captain Marvel series to sort of look through, get a sense of what's going on, and eventually review on the video in a video here. But before I could even get around to to reviewing the number one that I just bought, they're rebooting it again, <laughs> again. And what does it tell you? It ought to tell you something. I mean, how many times have they had to reboot Spider-Man or the Hulk or Iron Man? N not re it's not really a thing there, is it? Why? Because those characters took off, were loved, and ended up becoming iconic figures, cherished and adored by millions. Millions of comic book loving, comic book buying fans. And that's one of the primary disconnects I think that we're seeing here with the SJW movement that's taken its uh, taking control of Marvel and DC Comics is they're really not trying to appeal to the, their existing fan base. As a matter of fact, they're doing everything they can to drive them away and insult them on their way out the door. They're trying to appeal to the people who don't buy comic books in general. And uh, as, when that's your business model and your approach to business, business isn't going to go well, and you're going to end up doing idiotic things like re 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 booting characters that you think just have to go over. But this character just has to be popular. You, you People have to love her. They never do. It never sells well, never comes near the expectations that are placed on it. And yet, rather than learn from the mistake, admit the error, and make huge fundamental changes to their approach, they double down, triple down, and uh, end up just giving us the same thing again and again, and again, and again, and again. And here's the article uh, at uh, Bounding Into Comics. Marvel Comics will once again be rebooting, once again, be rebooting Captain Marvel with a brand new number one issue in January. Again, we're heading into the Captain Marvel movie launch, and they have to have that go well. They want, they desperately want this to be a popular comic book character before they release the, the blockbuster movie built around the character. The series will be written by Kelly Thompson with art by Carmen Carnero and colors by Tamara Bonvillain. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing any of those names. The first issue will also feature a cover by longtime Harley Quinn scribe and artist Amanda Connor. They will be joined by editors Sarah Brunstead and Will Moss. The new series will see Carol Danvers return to New York City where she is expected to face new threats and obstacles because, you know, new series, new threats and obstacles... Apparently, these are things, you know, whatever the, the the series was in the last three or four reboots of this and the the earlier threats and obstacles that Marvel thought was a great idea at the time they did the re reboot, then the re-re-reboot, then the re-re-reboot didn't work out, didn't last long at all, did not sell well. So what do we do? We we do it again. We same same verse uh, repeatedly. Uh, according to the New York Times, the series will quote reconnect Captain Marvel with allies like Iron Man and her best friend Spider Woman, as well as offer new relationships. Isn't that exciting? <sighs> Now that's interesting, the article continues, that the New York Times is referring to Captain Marvel and Iron Man as allies. The two were recently featured in one of Marvel's big event series, Civil War II, that saw them on opposing sides. And in fact, Carol Danvers would knock Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, into a coma. Interesting, because she's that awesome and tough and, you know, and that, that, isn't that cool? Isn't that great? Writer Kelly Thompson discussed the character as well as the upcoming story. I think the character is incredibly important, maybe now more than ever. Well, apparently, when you're, here's the deal. When you're re 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 booting a character because of the rest of the world doesn't think it's, it's an incredibly important character, 
maybe you should learn a lesson and, and not keep saying and insisting upon these same things like the character is incredibly important, maybe now more than ever. Does that make sense at all in this context? Yeah, you're not going to, and this is where SJWs, they, they have this thing about believing they can speak reality into existence. Um, it's part of their crazy religion. It's like, if you just keep repeating the same thing enough, you chant it loud enough, you believe it yourself and you, you just impose your will on reality by just sheer repetition of whatever idea is bouncing around in your confused little head, it, it at some point just becomes reality. Well, no, no, it doesn't. And that's why you're having to re, 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 boot this idiotic character. It's a bad character. It's not a popular character. There's nothing really inspiring. Uh, anyway, there's a reason why the first booting and the first launch of this character is not really, you know, produced a massive fan base. Neither is the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, whatever, you know. You, again, well, I'll continue with the article. She would add, Carol, unlike a lot of other heroes, is incredibly human and flawed, which makes her relatable. Okay. Now, we've been covering a lot of this, and I'm going to put links to our other Captain Marvel related uh, videos in the, in the body here, and you can check those out. But the, the SJWs, the identity politics types that are driving this movie, they have such fundamentally warped ideas of what as to what people are, what a man or a woman is, um, that on the one hand, they're preaching, and they're really trying to use this Captain Marvel movie as a tool by which to promote, on the one hand, a sort of feminism that says women are should be recognized for the indiv the unique things that they are and cherished and elevated and held on high. And then at the, on the other hand, most of these people at the same time will tell you Bruce Jenner is a woman. So, so there's a craziness at the core here that makes incoherence the norm. And so when they talk about things like, uh, you know, why this character should be so important and and how she's incredibly human, they don't really even often know what human means or even what, what a woman is. I mean, when you think... Bruce Jenner is a woman. You don't know what a woman is. It doesn't even matter if you are a woman. When you believe, when you believe such insanity as men and women can just be whatever they identify as and we have to treat them as though they are actually that thing, that's the kind of insanity that's at the core of the social justice warrior movement that is writing this stuff, cranking out this propaganda, and then wondering why it's failing to the point where they have to reboot it. Uh, 1,500 times before it, uh, well, I don't know, I was going to say before it takes, finally takes flight, but I don't know that it's ever going to work out here, and I, and I don't think that they're ever going to learn the lesson. And what is it, isn't that sort of the definition of insanity anyway? Doing the same basic thing again and again and again and again and just expecting, and really, from, in the case of SJWs, demanding different results from you and me, because, you know, the reason why the problem, at ultimately, from their perspective, as to why Captain Marvel has failed again and again and again and again and again to meet any sort of expectations that they've had for the character, and why they've had to reboot and re-reboot and re-re-reboot the character over and over again is, is not because there's anything wrong with what they're giving us as far as a character and the quality of her, you know, who, who she is and her story and the, the comic books. No, the problem is us, the stupid Neanderthal, sexist, racist, blankophobe readers who just won't get up, get with the program. And if we aren't going to get with the program, if we have not learned our lesson, well, then they just got to give us our lesson one more time. It's all they know how to do. And this kind of thing will probably not stop until Marvel either loses so much money that uh, that they have to reverse course that someone else steps in maybe a man and uh, corrects course writes the ship and 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 heads uh, steers the comic company after a long stretch heading into the oblivion of uh, social justice warriorism steers it back towards pro profitability by actually creating product again that that fans value and want to pay for that might happen then the company may just completely go under and end up selling off its intellectual properties not that they'd get anything for Captain Marvel, but the other ones that made the company great, Spider-Man, Thor, the Avengers, X-Men, thats those are worth a lot of money still um, because they're not Captain Marvel, uh, uh, that's, for, among other reasons. But that's one, you know, the, this character that they're desperately trying to make the new face of their comic empire and transition things over. And they're so committed to it. They're so desperate to do that, that they're rebooting it again and again and again and again and again this is not going to fly it's not going to work out you cannot keep doing the same basic thing pitching the same basic identity politics narrative and building your new uh, characters and new films and new enterprises around that you can't expect that to work out in the real world but of course these folks are not grounded in the real world 
they're in some other bizarro place and they're trying to drag us into that place with them through comic books and heroes like Captain Marvel again and again and again. So we shouldn't be surprised that we're seeing another number one issue before the movie comes out. And really, if they were clever and uh, had, had any foresight, what they could do is include a coupon or something in this number one issue so that you get some kind of a discount or break on uh, the next number one issue of the next rebooted Captain Marvel series that will inevitably follow this one as long as these lunatics are in charge of Marvel Comics. If you appreciated this video and you want to support what we're doing, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we post a new video, which we're hoping to do regularly on a daily basis from here on out on this subject and related subjects. Thank you very much for your support. Without it, we can't continue to do this.